Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions Fun Pack review, and whoops, <laughs> that was a mistake. But um, today we have the Bad Cop Fun Pack. You can see the packaging here is, um, you know, pretty neat looking. Uh, mine's a little beat up because I got it in an Amazon package and I kind of threw it into an envelope and it was like all folded, so whatever. Not really going to keep the package, just have it for this video. But you can see, bad cup on the side, and on the back, this is the most important part to show because I don't feel like rebuilding them all in one video. Just kidding, I'll do that eventually, but not in the review video. You can see the aerial squad car, which looks pretty awesome. Um, it looks similar to the bad cop like, chase set from the first wave, not the third wave, because this is like the third wave vehicle. And this is a transformed vehicle that was released as a set in the first wave. And the Missile Striker is the third build, so that's the most unique, but I really like the, you know, flying vehicle kind of transformation build, or builds, uh, I guess. I was talking about in general. But, the minifigure here is Bad Cop. This is the version that was exclusive to the Bad Cop Car Chase set from 2015, that wave of LEGO Movie sets. He comes with a stud shooter here, so let's shoot studs. And I didn't make a dent in the package, but we did find the stud again, so that's all that matters. And the torso is that Bad Cop torso. Um, this is less rare, it's really only the face that's hard to find. This appears in several sets, every set that Bad Cop comes in, including the collectible minifigures, so, you know. And his helmet is even more common, because it did appear in that one Lego Batman movie um, accessory set. But I like that face quite a bit, nice, angry. I kind of wish that there were was a rim around the shiny section of the sunglasses, but I also really like this, um, this particular good cop face. I wish there was a way to transform between good cop and bad cop in the game, but there isn't, so... That's too bad, but good figure. I um, guess you should probably take a look at the base too. And it says BC01, which is the um, you know the code or symbols that were on all of his um, cars, like both of them. They said BC01, like looking like that. And it also has a secret, a super secret police badge. His cop car, on the other hand, is kind of nice because it's kind of one of the most normal vehicles in the game. It's just a standard looking, you know, police car, kind of. So, if you want something like that, then that's cool. It is also just a neat little build, you know. This would make a good little polybag build from that racer's theme from, like, 2009. And I like how they get this to line up perfectly well, you know. They do a good job with that. Uh, getting that shape in an interesting... Like, that's a, not a very easy shape to produce, you know, they have to do it, like, using this kind of slope. I like just the overall shape of it, I think, all in all, it looks good. These are a little big, but other than that, I don't really have any complaints, so, you know, that's cool. And I think that this is just a nice little build to get, and it's going to be a fun vehicle to play around with in the game. So, that is the Bad Cop Fun Pack review. This was one of the last few Wave 1 fun packs that I needed, so I will be doing a, um, a Wave 1 you know, complete uh, video soon at some point, and you can keep an eye out for that. Um, I still need one more pack for Year 1, like to have the entire year, so that'll be coming as uh, like the whole Year 1, just overall. That won't be coming until I get that pack, but, you know, whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, guys.